Hello guys. So today we will make a chicken biryani using uh, MDH Bombay chicken biryani masala and a few other masalas that I'll show you later. So the first step uh, initially would be to soak the rice that you need. So I have used over here about uh, five cups of rice. I'll just clean it properly with water and then uh, drain out the water from the rice and then just keep it aside you know for about uh, 30 minutes or so so in this uh, method what i'm going to use is approximately uh, 14 pieces of uh, chicken you know leg chicken legs but you can actually use chicken legs or you can also use uh, just the normal uh, chicken pieces clean it well clean it, clean it properly first that's the first process you know for making a chicken biryani so just clean the chicken properly and uh, you can actually you know if, if you have chicken legs like mine you can cut the chicken you know in between so that you know the masala spreads uh, properly inside the chicken I'll show you that in a later stage so this is how the rice would look like once it's completely drained out of water and then keep it aside for 30 minutes and then we will pressure cook it uh, in a separate pressure cooker this is a pan that I'll be using I've added uh, you know about uh, maybe you know one layer of oil to it and uh, onions two onions uh, one is a big onion that i've used and another is a medium sized onions i've sliced it to a, a very you know thin slices of you know the onions and this um, onion i'm going to going to fry it basically so the taste of your chicken biryani would basically depend on how good you're going to fry these onions so these onions i'll just add it to the pan and i'm going to fry it for about uh, uh, 15 minutes on high flame okay so remember that but you need to be uh, near this, uh, you know, when you have, you have set the flame to high, make sure that you are always close to this uh, uh, pan and you keep stirring the onions so that it doesn't get burnt off. So just keep stirring uh, the onions and, and, and in between just add a little bit of a pinch of salt. Later we will add more salt, but now just a little bit of salt. And then again keep stirring for some more time. So as I said, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the onions to be completely kind of golden brown. Okay, I'll show you that. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, this is how you just make a you know a cut in between of the chicken so that the masalas get uh, coated properly inside the chicken. So that's at a later stage. You know, we will add the chicken to the masalas that we are preparing. So like this, I have made some cuts to the chicken. Yeah, so this is the Bombay biryani masala that I'll use. I'll use one tablespoon of that. And uh, this is uh, coriander powder and red chili powder that I'll be using. And a little bit of garam masala. So the Bombay uh, biryani masala, what I'll be using is one, uh, one tablespoon of the Bombay uh, biryani masala. And uh, half teaspoon of the coriander powder and half teaspoon of red chili powder. And I showed you the tandoori masala. If you have that, you can add, but it's not mandatory. You, if you if you try to add a little bit of tandoori, you can add that masala as well. So, uh, yeah, the red the red chili powder it depends on you know according to your taste. And even the tandoori uh, masala, if you want, you can add that. So once it's really golden brown like this, uh, we can actually turn the flame to a low temperature like this, and then. Uh, keep it you know, at a low temperature for about uh, maybe five minutes. Just keep stirring in between. It should turn uh, golden brown at very soon now. So when it turns golden brown, the next process would be to add the ginger and garlic paste. Uh, this is the uh, garlic paste and the ginger paste. I'll add uh, one uh, tablespoon of each uh, to this uh, mm, onions. Okay. So make sure you keep the flame to a low and then add one tablespoon of garlic paste and one tablespoon of ginger paste. Mix it well once you have uh, added these uh, two things. They are uh, very uh, important ones. So just mix it properly so that the raw smell of the ginger and garlic paste goes away. Once the raw smell goes, I'm not going to use the real tomatoes, but I'm going to use the stained tomatoes. This is the brand that I'll be using. But if you have any other uh, tomato paste, you can use that. You know, it gives a little more uh, kind of sweetness to the uh, chicken biryani. So that's also one thing. So I've added uh, two uh, tablespoons of that, and I'm just giving it a good stir. Temperature still low. So once it's completely, um, you know, mixed properly with the onions, 
the tomatoes and uh, you know the green chili everything I've just added a little bit of green chili over here and then mix it properly again green chili also depends on according to your taste now let's add the masalas together this is the um, Bombay uh, biryani masala see little bit of coriander powder that I added that's one and a uh, one and a half one tablespoon of the Bombay uh, biryani masala and the red chili powder according to your taste and if you have the uh, this one you know garam masala little bit of garam masala you can add and if you have the uh, bbq tandoori masala please add that as well just mix it properly to the you know all the mix these things properly so the final step would be to add the chicken you know the chicken that we had cleaned earlier again keep the temperature back to high as you can see just keep it back to a high flame and then uh, for approximately 20 minutes let it be on the high flame you know so that it really it's like a kind of it should be a, in between of a fried chicken and uh, uh, you know chicken masala so that's how it should be so just keep it on high flame and then mix all these things properly as you can see the time over here is 10 uh, 10 till 10 30 i'm going to keep it on high flame okay and uh, then mix it properly again once you have actually mixed these things properly let's go to the uh, you know pressure cooker and add a little bit of oil okay on the pressure inside of the pressure cooker okay just a little bit of oil on sides and these are the uh, other masalas that i'll be using one is a cinnamon stick uh, the bay leaves a few cloves a few uh, cinnamon a few uh, cardamom powder, uh, cardamom seeds yeah, so these are the things that I'll be adding to the uh, pressure cooker while I'm going to uh, pressure cook the uh, pressure cook the rice that we had uh, soaked earlier. So now I've added the rice, I've uh, kept everything. If you want, you can add salt at this stage or else uh, later on we can actually add lemon also. Salt, if you're adding, just add about, uh, you know, half a teaspoon of salt. But I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice uh, inside once it's completely cooked. So let's uh, pressure cook it. Here I'm going to use an instant pot, but if you have a normal pressure cooker, you can just do it. You know How you are actually cooking rice in your pressure cooker, just do the same way. Instant pot, I'm just going to set it to five minutes and high, high, temp high pressure mode. So once this is uh, being ready, I am I'm going to add a little bit of coloring, uh, food coloring, so that you get the real uh, yellow color for the biryani. Here I'm using this particular, you know, uh, coloring solution. I've added a little bit of milk and that uh, pinch of the yellow color. Just mixed it properly in a glass. I'll add it later to the rice. So that's one thing. So now let's go back to the uh, chicken. Okay, the chicken looks like it's completely good and fried. I'm just going to add. A uh, little bit of salt, as you can see, it's about one tablespoon of salt. Earlier, we never added salt; just a little bit of salt during the onion frying process. So now I have added salt onto this chicken. Let's mix it properly again, and then in between, you know, for about five minutes, we'll just cover it and keep on a low, on a low flame. Okay, it's 10:30. As I said, for approximately 20 minutes, I was keeping it on high flame. I'll now change it to low temperature and then close the lid for some time. Okay? Yeah, so now let me add a little bit of uh, coriander powder, uh, coriander oil, in the cilantro, cilantro leaves and then mix it properly and I have also mint leaves that I'll add to the rice later on, uh, lemon that I'll squeeze into the uh, chicken as well as the rice at a later stage. Okay, so that's one thing, now let's keep the temperature to low and then cover the layer actually you can actually now cover you know the chicken for some time and keep it after you mix it properly uh, mix everything properly just cover it for maybe about uh, mm, two or three minutes should be good yeah place the lid and then just place it like this for about two or three minutes and once it's completely uh, cooked you feel it's completely cooked that's that's it guys your chicken is ready you can just uh, off the you know uh, of the flame once you feel that your chicken is completely cooked and then we can add the uh, squeeze in the lemon that we had you know and your chicken your the chicken and the gravy for the uh, chicken biryani is basically ready once you squeeze this uh, lemon so lemon is the last first step that you do when you are you know making this uh, chicken gravy for your chicken biryani 
okay so let's cover it for some time and then go back to the rice and see how it looks rice seems to have been well cooked okay let's add the a uh, little bit of uh, uh, fried onions if you have fried onions you can add that at this stage the mint leaves you can add that uh, lemon you can add that lemon juice you know as i said um and the coloring uh, the coloring uh, milk you know what we add so we have added all that to the rice and then mix it properly and then uh, just add the chicken that's already cooked pick one by one chicken and then just add it along with the little bit of masala okay so this is how your chicken biryani would look like once it's completely mixed i hope you enjoy this easy recipe it takes about uh, 45 minutes to make a chicken biryani at home simple easy process for anyone enjoy guys let me know how it goes thanks